Bonjour En direct de la NBA Fan Zone avec Be In Sport. On était là déjà ce jeudi avec Gary Payton, on s'est dit si on allait voir deux fois papa. Eh oui, c'est comme ça les week-ends avec Trash Talk, on a le droit de se faire plaisir. Du coup, on est ici à la Fan Zone. Il y a euh, les gens de l'équipe de Be In Sport qui vont venir ici pour jouer un peu. Il y a des animations, il fait beau, ça fait plaisir. Bref, comme d'habitude, vous connaissez le principe. Vous nous suivez et on vous tout par ici En direct de la fan zone ici avec GP The Glove. What's going on, buddy? Part 2. Part 2. You know I always love being with you. It's always a part 2. We're going to have a part 3 pretty soon, huh? Maybe if you stay a little bit longer. Yeah, I, I think so. I think I will. I think I will. So, last time we talked a little bit about trash talking and there was a question I couldn't ask you. Who are to you the disciples of trash talking? The guys that you knew They would back back down what they say. They would live up to the trash talking with the way they acted on the courts. Well, I mean, Reggie Miller was good. Reggie Miller was really, really good. Um, MJ could back it up. Uh, Chuck Person? The Rifleman was pretty good. You, you know, people don't really, really talk about the Rifleman, Chuck. That was my guy, too. And uh, Larry Bird. Larry Bird. I think them, them four was, 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 was the one. They were the one to do it. Um, we talked a little bit earlier uh, the other time about the, the impact that George Gervin had on you. Can you talk a little bit about this because he's such an underrated character in the history of the game. What influence did he have on you as a child, on his behavior, the way he played? What did the Iceman, the Iceman mean to you? He meant a lot to me. Um, George is, um, when I was growing up, I liked the smooth game. I liked it when he, when he finger rolled it. Uh, I put that into my game when I came in there. I used to get rid of it in the middle of the thing before the big man got there. He always used to say that. Everybody, he was so smooth at scoring. He'd score anytime he wanted to. And he was a class act. You know, you never heard about him getting in trouble or anything. None of that type of situation. And, and the, uh, the the poster of him on the ice cubes and the, and the silver. With the shoes? With the shoes, with the high top, it was cold. It was cold. Because because back then, when you bought the shoe, you had the poster with it, right? You had the poster with it. It came in a box. It came in, and everything came together. So you know that was in the old days. You remember that was the old days. So I used to have him all on my wall. You know his jersey, hat. I used to sneak into the Golden, uh, the, uh, Oakland Coliseum where the Warriors used to play. You used to sneak in. I used to sneak in, go see him play when San Antonio came to uh, town. And then when I finally made it to the NBA and I got a chance to meet him, it was like, ah, you know, you shaking. And you know You were shaking? I was shaking and and I was, you know, a young fella. So and then I told him about everything and ever since then he's been like a father figure to me. Um I also wanted to talk about overall the your career because again, even if it's two years ago, congrats on the Hall of Fame. Thank you, thank you very much. And um, I want to ask you, if you had a magic pen, let's say, you had a magic pen, and there was maybe one line that you could rewrite, not something maybe that negative, but if there was one thing that maybe you would have tweaked or changed a little bit, either leaving for Milwaukee without your choice or anything else, was there any little, little elements that you wish you could have changed? You know what? No. It's none. Because if I changed anything, it wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be here doing this right now. So... Whatever happened in my life, it happened for a reason. And it's, and it's panning out just like this. And if I say change something, I don't know if that would have changed my life. If that would have changed the way this history is going right now. You just followed your path and that was it? Followed my path and that was it. It wasn't nothing that I was, I, right now I don't regret anything. All right. I don't regret anything. Um, do you have a little update about your son? How is he doing right now? Because. We've seen him with the Bucks last year. How is he doing? Like, what does he have? Do you have any news about him for the next training camp or anything? Well, you know what? He's out in Milwaukee now. They're, they're, they're training. Uh, I've been getting good reports about him, playing very well. You know, um, he's with Jason Kidd, who I raised. He's like his godfather. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy he's there. You know, um, Greg Foster is one of his coaches who I played with at high school, grew up with. Uh, Eric Hughes is the coach who was my, well, my trainer all throughout my basketball career. Uh, Tim, coach Gergerich, Tim Gergerich, who 
changed my whole career. That's a lot of good profiles. At the Sonics, at the Sonics yeah. So he's got all four of them around him. So I, I, I feel very comfortable with him. Talked to him yesterday. You know, he's, he's excited. He, uh, he, he's excited for me to go to the soccer game. He wants me to be at the soccer game and, and get him all the soccer jerseys. So oh, you're going to the soccer game tomorrow? To the soccer game tomorrow. So, you know, he told me to give messages, mercy and all that. He told me to give messages to him. Young guy, so yeah. you're going to have to bring him the goodies. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. It's good. And uh, last but not least, I've used to give just last two questions. How does it feel to be back in Paris? What do you like this, this far? Is it different from three years ago? What did you see that is different from when you came? Well, you know what's different from? Because we didn't have this event. We didn't have the NBA crossover and all that stuff. It was more of a VIP thing? Yeah, NBA zone. I like doing stuff like this. I like getting out being with these with these, with these Mixed up with the people. We mixed up with the people and let the people see who we really about. You know what I'm saying? They want to see us anyway. You know, you see them and they got jerseys and stuff on. They, they want to do that, and this is what I like. I like this. The, the, the other the three years ago when I came, it was great. It was great because I was doing everything. I, I love that too, but I love this even more, and this is what I want to do. All right, so we can only wish you a good soccer game tomorrow. Enjoy the, the fan zone, man. Thank you so much for thank everything. You, thank you very much. C'était Gary Payton avec nous à la fan zone, tranquillou. Voilà, on vous fait plein de bisous. Thank you so much again. Always.